so the next question number 91 the sum of deviations of n numbers from 10 and 20 with corresponding p and q are respectively then p minus q the whole square which is equal to 10000 then what is the value of n so this is sum of deviation so we may apply the mean deviation formula so we get the value of n is 10 so option a will be the right answer so next is for question number 92 if x bar which means mean is 20 of 10 observations x1 x2 x3 up to etc etc what is the value of summation from i which is equal to 1 to 10 3xi minus 4 divided by 5 so there are 10 observations so n value is 10 and x bar mean value is 20 so apply the mean value we have to find sigma x so the option corresponding its summation formula is 112 option c will be the right answer okay va next question number 93 so if the mean and sum of squares of 10 observations are 40 and 16160 respectively then what is standard deviation so we know that the standard deviation formula square root of sigma x square minus n minus sigma x by n the whole square formula so substitute the formula we get 4 is a right answer standard deviation is 4 option d is correct next to the concept of probability three dice are thrown what is the probability of getting the sum of which is a perfect square so three dice are thrown apo the dice consisting of six faces with three dice so six cube so six cube value is 216 yes so getting perfect square so perfect square is number 1 number 4 number 9 is a perfect square so substitute the values uh, 17 divided by 108 will be the right answer option a so next question number 95 A, B, C, and D are mutually exclusive, and one more condition: mutually exhaustive events. Then, two times of P A, which is equal to three times of P B, which is equal to four times of P C, and five times of P D. Then, what is seventy-seven times of P of A? So we know that mutually exclusive. mutually exclusive means the entire intersection value is zero exhaustive means the total probability is one using this condition the value of 77 times of p of a is 30 option d will be the right answer okay next question number 96 two distinct natural numbers from 0 to 1 are picked at random so you can take at random what is the probability that the product of one as in in unit place so a number one can be consisting of unit place so two distinct natural numbers from 1 to 9 okay well. so the corresponding probability is 1 divided by 36 option d will be the right answer next question number 97 two dice are thrown what is the probability difference between of the numbers is 2 or 3 so two dice are thrown n of s is 6 square is 36 so 6 square 36 so we get the, we get number 2 or 3 so the corresponding probability is 7 divided by 8 option b will be the right answer question number 98 next we'll discuss about question number 98 so what is mean of the numbers so mean arithmetic mean arithmetic mean of the numbers from 1 2 3 up to etc 10 what is the frequencies so nc not which contains 9c not 9c1 9c2 up to etc 9c9 respectively 
so this is we have to substitute to the table column x corresponding its frequency so frequency means in combination formula we may apply so answer 5.5 .5 is corresponding arithmetic mean option c is right answer so next question number 99 the probability that a person recovers from a disease is 0 0.8 what is the probability that exactly two persons out of five so two persons out of five recover from the disease so the n of s is 0 0.8 so corresponding two persons so we have may apply the formula n of a divided by n of s the option 0 0.0512 option d will be the right answer okay so next question number is 100 suppose that a chance of newly constructed building of collapse whether the design is fault or not the chance that design fault is 10 percent and uh, collapse is 95 percent if the design is fault otherwise it is 45 percent it's seen a building has collapsed what is the probability that uh, due to fault in design so this is the concept of probability in particularly conditional probability so using the concept of conditional probability apply the formula the entire probability is 0 0.19 option b is a right answer so next is question number 101 what is the equation of directrix y square which is equal to 4bx and where b is less than 0 then the value of b square plus b minus 2 so this is general equation of parabola y square equal to 4ax to find its a directrix equation of directrix so apply the directrix formula is we get x minus 2 will be the right answer next question number 102 the points minus a comma minus b and 0 comma 0 a comma b and a square comma b are so there are four points four points consisting of uh, we can check it over so this is the perfect will be matching on collinear so option d will be the right answer so next question number 103 given that 16 p square plus 49 q square minus 4 r square minus 56 p q which is equal to 0 which one of the following a point of pair of straight lines which is a px plus qy plus r px plus qy minus r which is equal to 0 so this is the concept of pair of uh, straight lines so pair of straight lines conditions we get the final answer 2 comma minus 7 by 2 option b will be the right answer so next 104 if 3x plus y minus 5 which is equal to 0 the equation of chord of corresponding circle equation x square plus y square minus 25 equal to 0 what are the coordinates of midpoint of the chord so circle and chord the condition for circle and chord we get substitute the formula and uh, the value is 3 by 2 comma 1 by 2 using midpoint formula midpoint of the chord concept so option b will be the right answer so next question number 105 consider the following in respect of the equation x square divided by 24 minus k plus y square divided by k minus 16 which is equal to 0 so the general equation of hyperbola is sorry ellipsis x square by a square plus y square by b square which is equal to e 1 this is the general equation of ellipse so the given form as a ellipse form because the middle sign is plus so using the concept the fire the checking over the equation represent ellipse is k is 18 the equation represents hyperbola k is 12 and uh, the equation represents circle is k which is equal to 20 so just you can apply the values first we have to apply k equal to 19 means it is ellipse so positive value and k equal to 12 we may apply k equal to 12 means it is change over to hyperbola definitely and k equal to 20 so this is the general equation of circle so satisfies 
all these three conditions so option c will be the right answer next question number 106 consider the following statements corresponding with respect to hyperbola x square by cos square theta minus y square by sin square theta equal to 1 so we can check two foci are independent of theta the eccentricity e value is secant theta the distance between the two foci is two units so we can check it over x square by cos square theta minus y square by sin square theta of a square value and b square value is cos square theta and this is sin square theta so apply these values these all three conditions are satisfied so option c will be the right answer next question number 107 so this is the concept of circle consider the following respect to circle 4x square minus plus 4y square minus 4ax minus 4ay plus a square which is equal to 0 the circle touches both the axes so whether we can check because x square coefficient 4 and y square coefficient 4 so entirely you can derive by 4 so we can get the general equation of circle and the diameter of the circle is 2a the center of the circle on the line is x plus y which is equal to a okay so how many statements given above are correct so there are the circle that just both the axis and the diameter of the circle is 2 a so the two statements only the correct so option b is right answer next question number 108 <coughs> for what values of k is a line k minus 3 into x minus 5 minus k square into y plus k square minus 7k plus 6 equal to 0 parallel to the line x plus y which is equal to 1 so this is a one line with parallel to another line so the condition for the lines so we may apply the parallel lines formula we get the value is minus 1 comma 2 is a right answer option b and uh, question number 109 the line x plus y which is equal to 4 cuts on the joining point p of minus 1 comma 1 and q of 5 comma 7 at r so what is the ratio it means ratio of pr and pq is equal to so this is the general equation of line y which is equal to mx plus c and there are two points to pass through the joining the points p of and q of and find the perfect ratio so the perfect ratio contains 1 is to 2 so option b will be the right answer next question number 110 so what is the sum of intercepts of the line whose perpendicular distance of origin of 10 units sorry 4 units and the angle which is the normal makes the positive direction of x axis is 15 degree so this is the perpendicular distance so the idea of 2d in perpendicular distance at the angle of 15 degree normal to the plane to the line normal to the line so its corresponding value is 8 root 6 option c is right answer so next question number 111 so this is the concept of arithmetic progression if a1 a2 a3 at up to etc be in arithmetic progression such that a1 a5 a10 a15 a20 a25 a30 a34 sum of its value is 300 what is subtraction of the values so just you have to subtract this using the condition so we get answer is 0 option a will be the right answer so next question number 112 what is summation of n equal to 1 to 34 an is equal to so addition of the numbers a1 a2 a3 a4 etc we may be using n times of formula n into n plus 1 divided by 2 so that may be apply we get option c sorry option d 1275 is a right answer 
so this is may be using the formula of n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So next <coughs> consider the following the next two items that follow there are two questions. So the given statement is let p equal to cos times of pi by 5 cos times of 2 pi by 5 and q equal to cos times of 4 by 5 and cos times of 8 pi by 5. What is the value of p plus q? So p plus q is addition of the terms. So addition of terms. So we get using cos e f a plus b we get the value became 0 option c will be the right answer. So next question number 114. Similar type what is the value of pq? So the value of pq is minus 1 divided by 16 option a will be the right answer. Next based on trigonometry let p which is equal to 1 by 3 minus tan 3x divided by tan x and q is 1 minus 3 tan square x. So what is the value of pq is equal to? So using tan 3a formula tan 3a equal to 3 tan a minus tan q ba divided by 1 minus 3 tan square a with the condition x is not equal to pi by 2. So we may apply the tan 3a formula we get the value is minus 8 by 3. So option d is a right answer ok. Next question number 116 for how many values of x does 1 divided by p became 0. So how many values of x does 1 by p became 0 means it is existing are two values like that p and q. So the two values we may apply the 1 by p became as 0. So option c will be the right answer. So next question number 117. So this is based on trigonometric if sin x plus sin y which is equal to root 3 of cos y minus cos x with the condition x plus y which is equal to pi by 2 and uh, where x and y belongs to 0 to pi by 2 then what is the value of sin 3x plus sin 3y. So we know that the formula sin 3a which is equal to 3 sin a minus 4 sin qba this is the general formula of uh, in angle of 3. So apply sin 3a formula we get the value of 0 is b is correct answer. Next is similar pattern of uh, cos cube a plus cos cube sorry cos cube x plus cos cube y value. It is corresponding the formula of cos 3a in terms of 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. So using the segment we may apply cubic formula we get the value of 3 root 6 divided by 8. So option b is right answer. So next again the concept of trigonometry question number 119. The angles of A, B and C are triangle of A, B, C in the ratio of 3 is to 5 is to 4. So A, B, C. Then what is the value of A plus B root 2 C is equal to. So this is the ratio from 3 is to 5 is to 4. You can take 2 as well as. So we get option C will be the right answer. Okay. So the next idea square of the value what is the ratio of a square ratio of b square is to c square. So this is corresponding value of 3b it is applying the square of the numbers. So we get 2 cross 2 plus root 3 is to 3. So this is the final answer option a is a right answer. So, thank you. Okay. So so, okay. so, the answer keys. So, if you look at the accuracy level, okay. if you look at the level, you can analyze and solve it. And uh, Manoj sir is our new faculty for maths class. And Manoj sir is our new faculty for maths class. So, you can see your maths sir. Online or offline. Sir. So, he is a 10 years experienced faculty. So, various uh, board exams. Here was been a member over there. So, Adanala, he will be taking you the maths class. Rumbo Tiliva explanation on the Alatme Kudupare, each and every topics from basics. Okay. So, online classes, we are going to kick start from October 9 onwards and also offline class. 
ஸோ ரெண்டுத்துக்குமே உங்களுக்கு மேத்ஸுக்கு தெல்லந்தெளிவாக ஃப்ரம் பேசிக்ஸ்லேருந்து எல்லாமே சார் உங்களுக்கு கிளாஸஸ் எடுப்பார் ஓகே ஸோ உங்களுக்கு ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் பற்றி டீட்டெயில்ஸ் தெரியணும் அப்படின்னா எங்களை காண்டாக்ட் பண்ணலாம் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ உங்களுக்கான ஆப் டீட்டெயில்ஸ் பற்றி சொல்லிடுறேன் கருட் டிஃபென்ஸ் ட்ரெனிங் அகாடமின்னு சொல்லி ஆப்பை நீங்கள் கூகுள் ப்ளே ஸ்டோரில் டவுன்லோட் பண்ணிக்கோங்க ஸோ தட் உங்களுக்கு கிளாஸஸ் அதில் நடத்தப்படும் ஓகே ஃபைன் ஸோ எனி ஃபர்தர் டீட்டெயில்ஸ் அபவுட் கோர்சஸ் நீங்கள் எங்களை காண்டாக்ட் பண்ணலாம் அண்ட் இது ஓன்லி ஃபார் மேத்ஸ் சரிங்களா ஸோ மேத்ஸுக்கு அக்யூரஸி லெவல் ஹையில் கொடுத்துருக்கோம் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ அடுத்து கேட் உங்களுக்கு வரும் ஸோ லைனாக நீங்கள் நம்மளோட யூடியூப் சேனல் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க ஸோ ஏன் சார் இவ்வளோ டிலே டூ டேஸ் ஆகிருக்கு அப்படின்னா ஸோ நமக்கு ஓகே வி ஹாவ் டு அனலைஸ் மெனி திங்ஸ் அதுக்கப்புறம் தான் கொடுக்க முடியும் சரிங்களா ஸோ இதே மாதிரி தான் கிளாஸஸ்லேயும் உங்களுக்கு அனலைஸ் பண்ணி பொறுமையாக நிதானமாக நடத்தி உங்களுக்கு கொடுப்போம் ஸோ யூட்டிலைஸ் எவ்ரி திங் ஃப்ரம் கரு டிஃபென்ஸ் ட்ரெனிங் அகாடமி ஸோ தட்ஸ் இட் ஃப்ரம் கரு டிஃபென்ஸ் ஸோ தேங்க்யூ ஜாய்ஹந்த்